Hello, blessings, namaste. This is High Priestess Jamila, and I am here to do a guided meditation with crystals video for you guys. This is going to be for protection, grounding. So I am going to show you guys a quick grounding technique, purification, which is clearing your aura, balancing, healing, and then focused man manifestation. So this is where I'm going to show you guys how to focus on manifesting something that you desire, okay? Whatever that is. Just a quick warning, when you're focusing on your manifestation goals, you may want to keep it positive and something positive that you want to manifest for yourself, okay? Like maybe prosperity, maybe peace, maybe whatever it is that you want to manifest, okay? This is going to be perfect for if you are a client, a student, an apprentice, or just anyone that wants to benefit from this meditation, okay? All right, so I wanted to just go over the crystals with you very quickly. First of all, these two big rocks that you're seeing here are actually alum crystal they are amazing for clearing and purification as well as protection okay and then over here we have some fluorite which is really good for transmutation and other things then we have some amber which is very good for healing as well as manifestation and then we have some quartz crystal. I have a block of that right here, some opal light, and various smaller crystals. Uh, these over here are for the chakras. We've got red jasper for the root. We've got cornelian for your sacral. We've got tiger's eye for your solar plexus. We've got green aventurine for the heart chakra we've got you can't really see them but some tanzanite for the throat and then we have some amethyst for the third eye and then at the top we have quartz crystal so in the first two to three minutes, we are going to be listening to some Native American flute music with rain. And it does have thunder in it, but that should always help. I want you to get yourself in a either a seated or a lying position. You can either be lying down on your side or on your back, whichever is more comfortable for you. Or you can be sitting Indian style with your legs crossed. I would advise some incense, preferably some, any incense that you have, but preferably I would say something relaxing, maybe something like some jasmine, some lemongrass, lavender, or whatever you have. Okay, so we're gonna get started. And it does help that it's kind of raining and thundering outside as well. So what I want you guys to do is once you are comfortable, I want you to take that first exhale. So in order to exhale, you may have to inhale just a little bit. So if you need to inhale, inhale for maybe one to two seconds. Exhale completely, hold it. Breathe in again, exhale. Right now, what I want you to do is when you breathe in again, I want you to imagine yourself covered in a white, pink, maybe even mauve-ish color, whatever color that makes you feel safe. It can even be red, inhale. Imagine that encircling vision. See it covering your entire body. Exhale. 
should be feeling really grounded already. Okay. Inhale again. Push that shield of either white, off-white, opalite, red, tan, purple. It can even be black. You can even choose one of the colors that you are seeing on this meditation table. So as you inhale, I want you to envision you being protected from whatever is bothering you. As you exhale, you're releasing it. You're pushing it downward. As you exhale, make sure that you are focused on the top of your head, going all the way to the bottom of your feet. If you need to cough, please do so. I want you to sit with this energy for just a couple of minutes as you listen to the flute, as you listen to the rain. If you have any negative thoughts or fears, replace those thoughts with I am safe, I am secure, I am grounded. The suggested position for this is going to be with your legs crossed, but if you feel that you need to continue lying down, you can do so. But if you feel like it, you can sit up either in the bed or a chair, either on the floor or on your yoga mat and just take a couple of more deep breaths. Push that shield around you. As you exhale, make sure that you are envisioning that you can see that warm shield, that safety, that protection around you. Make sure that you're really focusing on exhaling. Make sure that you exhale completely through the bottom of your diaphragm. All right. Now I want you to just breathe normal and stay in that position. And we're going to move on to the clearing, cleansing, and purification portion of this meditation. Okay, so we're going to move on to the clearing and purification part of this meditation. So this is mainly for clearing out negative energies out of the body, out of the mind, out of the spirit, 
And the easiest way to do this is to start at the top of your head and go all the way to the bottom of your torso. And what you want to do is you want to allow all of that negative energy to go downward so that it can leave the body. Now, there are many ways of doing this. If you feel compelled to push any energy back to any kind of source, then what that means is that there's going to be a different meditation that would probably need to be done by a practitioner. Okay? But we're specifically dealing with negative energy right now. So what I want you to do is I want you to focus on the drums. Right now we're listening to a chakra clearing drum sound. And so what you want to do is inhale. And as you inhale, you're going to focus on the top of your head, which is your crown chakra. Inhale. Any negative energy that you may see or feel, you want to focus on pushing that negativity downward. Breathe in again. Push all that neg negativity downward. Now the goal is to focus on pushing the negativity out through the bottom of the root chakra. This is probably going to result in feeling like you may need to go to the bathroom. It may make you feel as though you have to do the number one or the number two. What you can do is you can pause this video and you can go and take care of your business and then come right back. Okay, so let's get started. Start with the inhale. As you exhale, you want to see any and all negative energy go all the way down to the bottom of the spine so that it can come out. At this moment, you should have some kind of incense going and imagine that negativity just drifting away. I want you to imagine this energy as any color as you want. You're going to see that color escape your body. Let's do another inhale. that negative energy escapes the body you're going to see it dissipate you can visualize that it is turning a different color whatever color you associate with positivity and I want you to focus on this stone in particular because right now what you're doing is you're transmuting the rest of that negative energy that is in the body, that is in your spirit. Okay, so right now you should be at an exhale point and you should be able to hold it. If you can't, go ahead and breathe normal. We're going to start another inhale in five, four, 
three, two, one. If you need to cough because intuitively I am picking up on a majority of viewers at this moment right now having problems with the throat chakra as well as the solar plexus so sometimes when you have problems with the throat or the solar plexus you may need to cough feel free to do so okay and while you do that you may want to pause or you may want to just go ahead and let the cough out Coughing can be clearing unless you're not doing too much of it, but it's still clearing. It's your lungs trying to clear themselves, okay? All right, let's go ahead and do another inhale. Now at this point, after at least three inhales and exhales, you should really start to feel lighter. You should start to feel energized. I'm gonna take you through a couple of more inhales and exhales. And I'm going to just talk. I'm not gonna do the inhale myself. Three, two, one. Inhale for at least three to four seconds. Hold it. One, two, three. Exhale all the way down. Where as you exhale, you're seeing whatever color code that you associate with that negativity. You're seeing it go downward all the way to the bottom of the spine and it is escaping the body. You can see those vapors around. Whatever color it is, it can be gray, it can be black, it can be whatever color that you associate. Green, orange, whatever it is. And you just wanna see that color turn into a color that you associate with positive. One more time. Breathe in, hold it. Push it down, push it down, push it out. Now this is a general overall clearing purification, but you can turn that color into whatever color you want it to and apply it to whichever chakra. I want you to use the stones possibly as a guide. Okay, in our next session, we are going to focus on balance and healing. Okay, welcome back. We're gonna do chakra balancing and healing and we're going to start with healing and we are listening to the singing sound bowls right now so what I want you to do while you're in your seated position or your lying position I want you to close your eyes 
or you can focus on the crystals that are in front of you, whichever is easiest for you. Right now, what I want you to do is I want you to associate the color. Use the color that you associate with healing. And I want you to envision your entire body is covered in that color. So for example, green, aqua green is really good for healing. But for some of you guys, you may envision a lilac color. It's your choice. I want you to see that color surrounding you, all over you, emanating. If there's any area that hurts or feels stuck or feels uncomfortable, I want you to focus on that area you to focus on it and as you focus on that area I just kind of want you to breathe normal for a second as you focus on that area focusing on that area if there's no specific area in particular and you just want to do the whole body then you can just start breathing but if there's an area that is bothering you I want you to focus on that area and I want you to see that area of your body and I want you to envision there being either a crack or an opening that needs to be healed and I want you to envision that color that you chose Filling that in, filling it in, resting on top of it, emanating through it as you breathe. In, exhale for two to three seconds, inhale for two to three seconds, okay? We're going to get started in three, two, one. choice into that area as you exhale I want you to see that area healed and smooth no cracks, no bumps. For example, if you're feeling anything in the stomach area or the chest, the stomach would be solar plexus, the chest would be heart. So you want to see that area as being broken see the fracture in that area and as you inhale you're gonna pull that color into that area as you inhale and as you exhale 
right there. Now we are going to start some balancing. And we're going to start balancing from the crown chakra all the way down to the root chakra. I want you to envision that there's two iridescent dots or whatever color for the crown chakra. I want you to see it right at the top of your scalp. It can be any color that you're seeing here. But I want you to see that at the top of the scalp. And I want you to take those two dots and I want you to align them up perfectly. As you breathe normal, but still focusing on your breathing. Those two dots can either be floating slightly above your head or either resting on your scalp, whichever you prefer. Just make sure that they are aligned up perfectly with each other as you breathe. Take a couple of deep breaths if you need to pause and practice then you can do so. Perfect, okay. So we're gonna move on to the third eye. I want you to see two dots at your third eye on your forehead, in between your brow. And as you breathe in, I want you to see these two dots perfectly aligned with one another. Inhale and exhale as those two dots move into alignment with one another, which is directly across from one another. And I want you to stay in that position and just breathe. These are called our balancing dots. So as we move on to the chest area, to your heart chakra, I want you to see two dots. They're gonna be a little larger because the chest is larger and you wanna see them over the heart chakra. And as you breathe in, you want to align them up perfectly. And if it helps, you can do this in front of a mirror with your eyes open. Breathe in. Breathe out.
Now, there may be a little bit of difficulty with the heart chakra. Don't push yourself. Just see those two dots perfectly in alignment with one another. If you need a few minutes with this one, you can pause and come back. Now, just to remind you real quick, if you're looking at the camera, we have our beautiful blue dot, our bluish greenish dot that is I associated with Saint Raphael. This one may be difficult for some of you. Okay. Just kind of breathe in, breathe it out. What you should feel is lighter in that area. If it made you feel kind of heavy in that area, please feel free to reach out. And we're gonna move on to the solar plexus chakra, which the solar plexus chakra is just underneath the, between the belly button and the sternum, which is at the bottom of the chest to the belly button would be where your solar plexus would be located. And as you inhale, I want you to see those two dots, whether or not you're seeing them just by your intuition or you can see them in front of you. Either way will work. And I want you to align those dots up as you breathe in. I want you to envision those dots where your solar plexus is. And inhale. Exhale. As you exhale, if you're feeling any trouble in that area, I want you to push that down because something that was deep may have came to the surface. Breathe in. Line those dots up together. And exhale. Breathe in. Make sure that you're really focusing on the exhale. And upon the exhale, I want you to really focus on seeing those two dots. Even if you have to see those two dots directly in front of you, if you're having a hard time envisioning those dots, directly on the area you're still focused on the solar plexus at this moment. Just make sure that they are balanced. Okay. All right, keep focusing on your breath. As I burn some copal resin. You may want to, at this point, make sure that your incense is going because this is going to allow
you to focus and release anything that may be preventing you from balancing. to the sacral chakra now your sacral chakra is located below the belly button to the pubic bone so as you go ahead and formulate your two dots in that area and this takes practice to envision You want these dots to be irid iridescent color, just uh, whatever color that resonates for you. I want you to place those dots somewhere in the middle of your sacral chakra, and I want you to focus on aligning those dots as you inhale. at this point just make sure that you are seeing those two dots and that they're not bouncing around but that they are perfectly still but they may be shimmering they may be glowing Don't force yourself to breathe. But when you do breathe, make sure that you inhale for at least two to three seconds and that you exhale completely. So you should be feeling, feeling really relaxed at this point. You may feel certain tinglings throughout the body, which is normal, and that's actually what you want. We're going to move on to the root chakra. Now, the root chakra should be fairly easy for a lot of you guys. Um, what I want you to do is envision two dots on your back. Okay, on your lower back. Okay, as low as you can get it. I want you to put those two dots on your back and right now I can really see that a lot of you guys on the left side the dot is slightly raised. May not be for all of you but what I want you to do is exhale. Then inhale. And I want you to envision those dots aligning up to each other on your lower back. And, and inhale. Okay? Exhale. Stay focused on keeping those two dots perfectly balanced. You 
should start feeling a warm sensation in the body. motion with your fingers okay if you feel a few warm flushes that's normal because you are focusing on the root chakra and so that's quite normal when you are doing any kind of root chakra work Like I said, you can either envision these dots, these circles, these iridescent circles, or directly in front of you, but you want them to be aligned up. But you can either do that or you can visualize them being right at the bottom of your spine. So intuitively, what I'm picking up on is that there are a lot of people that may be watching this with a lot of solar plexus energy that may it may be in excess or it may be imbalanced. If you need to do the yoga position called Cobra, I would suggest doing that at this point in the video. You can pause it and just do a few seconds or 10 seconds of Cobra, okay? I do apologize, but I am not able to show myself doing Cobra, but I will insert a photograph of Cobra if you are not used to yoga or if you are not familiar with it, you can skip this part. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this and then I'm gonna come back and we are going to finish off with our manifestation portion of this meditation. Okay, so congratulations. We are now at our manifestation part of this particular meditation series now or session. <laughs> now, if you need at this point, you should be feeling very relaxed. You should be feeling relaxed. You should be feeling open. You should be feeling balanced. If you are not, then you may want to focus your manifestation on just that. Okay, so you can use this particular portion of this meditation session to visualize that. Okay. But you can use this one for manifesting anything that you want, okay? If you are having a hard time, then there may, need, uh, there may be other works that need to be done. But what you should be feeling is you should be feeling like no tension anywhere in the body, okay? You may be ready to go and take another shower, and just relax or either you may be ready to get some chores done. It depends on what time of the day it is and you know. So I want you to sit easy and be in an exhale position, okay? So kind of exhale, okay? And I want you to, you can either keep your eyes open or closed. You don't always have to have your eyes closed 
when you're meditating, okay? Whichever feels comfortable for you. So I want you to start off by seeing exactly what it is that you want to manifest right in front of you. And then I want you to see it, whatever it is that you want to manifest coming from behind you. And then I want you to see what you want to manifest coming from above you. And then on each side of you, you're going to see all the way around, you're seeing this it can be light, it can be speck, spectral, speckles of light, or it can be exactly what you want. But whatever it is, I want you to see it coming towards you. Okay, so either close your eyes or leave them open. And I want you to visualize all of the details. It's all coming towards you. Inhale. And then exhale. A little bit, okay? Get yourself in a comfortable position. Envision what you want just coming into you and you're just absorbing it. You can use whatever colors you want. just breathe normal at this one because what you should be envisioning you should be able to see it but you should also be able to feel it Just breathe normal. Like I said, don't envision anything negative, nothing negative. Make sure that it is all positive, whatever it is, whether or not it is love, whether or not it's healing energy. You just want to just pull that in and 
allow it to gently flow into your aura. Want to breathe normal now for some of you it may take a little bit longer meditation but for the sake of the length of this video we are going to close this out with seeing a big shield around you that protects what you manifested that is going to conclude this meditation session i hope that you guys enjoyed this if you had any trouble with any areas of this feel free to contact me and schedule a reading or either a consultation or either a private meditation session i do offer meditation services but then again i also do offer cleanses and healings because you may need something a little bit stronger okay all right thank you so much for watching make sure that you thumbs this up and that you subscribe and i will see you guys next time blessings bye